Well, good evening and welcome to the Thursday, April 8th session of the College Park Business and Industrial Development Authority. Our meeting will begin tonight at exactly 6.30 p.m. and we will begin our meeting um, with roll call. And tonight with roll call, the way that we would like to proceed is to first have each of our BIDA officers to uh, introduce yourselves or uh, count yourself as present, which will be followed by our BIDA mem members, then, our by then the office staff for the City of College Park, which will be followed by any of our visitors. And visitors, when you introduce yourself, please let us know what company you represent or where you are from. I will begin by introducing myself. I am Jamel McKenzie. I am the chair of BIDA. Good evening, citizens of College Park. I'm Demetrius Taylor, Vice Chair of College Park um, Business Authority. Uh, I'm Derek Taylor, Mayor Pro Tem. Eleanor Cornelius, board member. Bianca Montley Broom, Mayor. I'm going to ask that Dr. Cadis will uh, wait because I'm going to introduce her. Okay, so let's continue with our staff. Um, good evening, everyone. I'm Mercedes Miller, the interim city manager for the great city of College Park. Arnie Jones, executive director of Clearly College Park. Tasha Hall Garrison, <laughs> economic development program manager and assistant secretary treasurer to uh, Clearly College Park. I'm Renee Coakley. I'm the main street manager for the city of College Park. I'm Ken Allen, Councilman of Ward 3, and happy to have uh, my representative here tonight. Nikki Washington, I'm uh, with the Planning Department for College Park. Denise Cole, Georgia International Convention Center, Gateway Center Arena. Dan Lee, Attorney 4, bottom. Okay. Is that everyone that we have today? Has everyone had a chance to introduce themselves? Okay. So at this time, I would like to, oh, we have one more of our FIDA board members who's just coming in. Um, I would like to introduce our newest uh, FIDA board member who's representing Ward 3, Councilman Ken Allen, and uh, she is uh, Anita Cadis, and we are so happy to have her as a part of our board. And so uh, Anita, we want to welcome you and, uh, and just, uh, we're just very, very happy to have you here. And so with that, we're going to move on to um, the review of our BIDA meeting minutes, March 11th, 2021. Um, Madam Chair, I think we have one correction. I think we need to add Councilman Ken Allen. He was at the meeting on the, at the last meeting. Okay. Tasha, you got that? Are there any other corrections to the meet or additions to this? Uh, anything that's missing from this? Or minute? Yes, from the J J just punctuation. Okay. Um, on um, package page four, which is page two of the minutes, okay. line 55, it's uh, underscore all of the uh, the businesses and uh, Sugar's Pamper, that's supposed to be Sugar's with an apostrophe S. Okay. Okay. Are there any other corrections? Okay, at this time, I'd like to entertain a motion that we adopt the minutes uh, with the corrections or revisions. So moved. So moved. Second. <laughs> All in favor, please let it be known by uh, actually raising your hand and saying aye. 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 All right, uh, unanimously, the ayes have it. Okay. At this time, are there any additions, deletions, amendments, or changes to the agenda? All righty. 
Well, then we're going to move right on to our, uh, uh, is anything under new business today or, or are we just going to go on to the GICC update? Okay, uh, Denise, would you like to provide us with the GICC update? Um, yes, um, good evening. Um, currently we have BET series Long Slow Hall. They're recording a um, their series over at the Gateway Arena. And also we are in conversations with the Atlanta Dream. We do have their preliminary schedule. Um, they're waiting for the league to approve the schedule. We do know that their first preseason game will be May 1st and they will not have any spectators for that game. But moving forward, they will have spectators. And with the GICC, we're just still doing the vaccinations. Are there any questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you all. Yes. Thank you, Denise. And I ditto what uh, our vice chair has said. Okay. At this time, we're going to move on to item six, our economic development reports. Good evening, everyone. Again, um, I will be giving the Main Street and Virginia Avenue Business District report. Um, that we had, um, this slide was updated. We had one, two, three, four, five new businesses for the month of March. Um, um, there was Beverage City Package Store on Virginia Avenue changed owners. Um, the, the 1818 Vesta Apartments um, have new ownership. Um, there's a new business at 1867 Harvard Avenue it's called Team Rehabilitation, Georgia 10. And then Kay's Body Haven um, at 3729 Main Street. And then we have Clearview Inspections at 3383 Main Street. Those were the uh, new businesses for the, uh, my program area um, for the month of March. And the next slide, I had a couple of project updates that I just wanna go over really quick. Um, we hosted Main Street Matters on April 1st. We had over 90 uh, people registered to attend and we only had about 40 online. We did have a jam packed um, meeting. Um, we gave out a lot of good information on projects that are happening in the area. So people were very receptive to that. Looking forward to having it again um, in September. That'll be the next um, update. The Main Street Mural Project is tentatively set to begin on May 15th. Um, rekindle art and music experience. You may have noticed the signs going up around town and some of the posters in some of the businesses, um, but we will be having that on April 30th to May 2nd. We have two nights of music this time and we'll have two days of art. And then um, again on Sunday evening, we'll have the gallery art sale. All of, all of the participating artists are, will be allowed to sell some of their art, that, what they create on the day, as well as what they've created in the past at the art show. Last time we hosted it, we sold about 12 pieces of art. So looking forward to that. And then I'm um, just really excited to say we've raised over $13,000 from local businesses wow. um, and, and people in the community who wanted to support. So it is clearly evident that people want something to do and we're, we're excited to be able to bring this back again. And then um, we have the wellness spot will be opening up on May 1st, but we'll be doing a ribbon cutting on April 30th at 5 p.m. So if, if any of the VITA members would like to attend, please feel free to do so. The wellness spot is located right next to the brake pad on Main Street on near the corner of Maine and Rugby. Um, Chick-fil-A kiosk um, that sits outside of the depot from Monday through Wednesday is doing well. They're um, holding steady with their sales. They'll be doing different specials periodically. This coming Monday, we'll be doing Monday Mango Madness. So um, any city staff or um, city board members will be eligible to receive a free mango tea with the purchase of a sandwich and um, chips, I believe. Um, that uh, promotion will be going out um, first thing Monday morning. And then the last update there, I forgot to add to the slide, but the parklets, um, GDOT has a, finally approved the parklets and we facilitated a meeting today. 
as far as the Main Street Board to discuss the two vendors that we have been working with. Um, we pretty much narrowed it down. We had some questions that um, the chairperson for that um, program is going to go back and ask those questions um, to just get final clarification on some things. And we should be placing an order early next week. So looking forward to seeing that come to fruition. Um, next slide. On last month, we did have a congratulations celebration for Mr. Cho. Um, we presented him with the proclamation as well as a gift from the Main Street Board um, to celebrate his 40 years plus in business right on Main Street. And he's going to retire, but good news is that the store is staying open. Um, as you can see in the bottom right picture, Mr. Mincy, who's standing behind Mr. Cho, has taken the, the, the reins and is running with it. I saw several customers in there today. Um, so yeah. I'm, forward, I'm very happy that we're keeping that on Main Street. Mr. Cho, um, he did tell me that he passed on his customer service skills. So <laughs> <laughs> those will remain. We will yeah. miss him, but I'm so happy that Mr. Mincy is... Um, taking up that challenge. So um, please support that business as well. Um, and then I, I mentioned, well, no, I did not mention, we had a grand opening for El Jefe Cigar Company, which is now at home on Main Street. Um, oh, wow. They're doing well. It's a, um, an upscale cigar bar. Um, well, cigar space, they don't sell alcohol as of yet, but um, it's a very nice, they did a very nice job with um, this space. And um, if you are an enthusiast, I advise you to stop by or support for somebody that you know. But um, the guys, um, they were very happy to be on Main Street and um, we're, we're glad to have them. And next slide, and then just a couple of meetings. Our next board meeting will be April 21st. That is outside of our normal meeting date um, because um, several board members and myself will be attending virtually the, main, the National Main Street Conference next week. So we'll have our regularly scheduled meeting on the next Wednesday, which is April 21st at 3 p.m. And that will be virtual. And then of course, again, the Rekindle Art and Music event um, will be April 30th through May 2nd, unless we have bad weather, it'll be moved to May 7th through the 8th. And that is all for me, unless there are any questions. Yes, I have one for you, Renee. Yes, sir. Um, there was, there's um, um, press that was going out about the new um, Cummings that's taken over the Cofinio spot. Yes. Are we ready to announce that or is that still, is that still in the making? The contract has been secured as far as I'm aware. So yes, it's called the Breakfast Boys. Um, they are tentatively scheduled to open within 30 to 60 days. It will be a breakfast location. And um, they've been like putting teasers out of different um, food items that they'll have. But yes, there will be a restaurant coming into the former Cofinio location on Main Street, right next door to the cigar, El Jefe Cigar Shop. And um, looking forward to them coming as well. So that space will be taken. Yes. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Renee. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, thank you all. And I will be presenting on the South side. Um, as far as for the month of March, we did have 14 new businesses. Wow. Um, Perfect Figures, LLC, Polaris, Spine and Neurology Surgery Center. Also, Godby Food Mart is under new ownership. We have Miss Clean Laundry, GF Motorsports Corporation, Production Distribution Center, Living Hope Non-Emergency Medical Transportation, Trap Nova, Metropolitan Career School, Campbell Brothers Auto Brokers, Automobile Acceptance Corporation, Fatima Beauty Shop, Genesis Auto Broker, as well as Georgia and Company are all welcome to the uh, Old National Corridor. I also ask that you um, keep listed or keep notice um, as far as the new business is coming by following us on Instagram. Um, that is a great resource to see the new businesses as well as to know who's in the corridor each month. Um, I had another slide. Okay, so um, I'm going to give uh, just a couple notes about some new information in the corridor. 
I, I do. Um, I have hope that if you have not seen 5025, that you do go by there. Um, I went by and walked the corridor today. The building is about three fourths down. So that is very exciting. Um, I also wanted to note that um, we are working with the um, city planners as far as to assist with the comprehensive plan. Um, we have scheduled an upcoming artist roundtable, stakeholder roundtable, so that local artists in the city are able to give um, comment and kind of provide guidance on how we can better incorporate and ensure that there is arts in the future College Park community as well as we are now planning to also do an old national stakeholders group. And we have spoken with some property and business owners. So I re will reach out to you to finalize the date for those in case you would like to um, participate. Um, as far as we do have some upcoming trainings available for um, development authority members. So I will send that information out to the board. I know that Jamil, Demetrius, and Eleanor hold the beginning and the advanced certificates currently. So I will send that information to Leslie and Dr. Cottis, um, my apologies if mispronounced, so that you all can um, be updated as well. And um, that is what I have currently. Um, are there any questions? Well, thank you, Tasha. If there are no more really, questions, no Tasha. questions. Y'all hustling, baby. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Just good to see all the develop the things that are happening in our in our city. Our directors. Sorry about that. Um, Moody's Garage, the acquisition of Moody's Garage that took place on yesterday. And we also disposed of some property over on 1060 Forest Parkway for their new location. Um, the, this, uh, Brown, the Brownfield cleanup um, is about to uh, begin at the golf course. Uh, as you can remember, we won some Brownfields money um, a couple of years ago. And now we're at the point where we're gonna start to clean up the rest of the golf course area. And then, of course, uh, we are also going to be working on temporary holes at the golf course, um, developing temporary holes. Initially, when we talked about the redevelopment of the golf course and also the displacement of two of those golf holes going away, we talked about shutting the golf course down for a number of months while that was being done. Well, now we've come up with an alternative plan where we will be able to continue to have the golf course to stay open and we'll be setting up temporary holes and those temporary holes will take you know, somewhere between one to two weeks max to actually get those temporary holes in place. It's more so on the, um, the shorter time frame, three to five days to actually get them in. But this will allow the golf course to continue to stay open even during the development of the two new golf holes that will uh, be constructed. Are there any questions? No, no. I guess I'm not doing as much as uh, Renee and Tasha, my little short presentation. <laughs> but we'll no, hear guys, more. We'll, we'll hear about more. an executive session. We'll hear more from you later, Artie. But um, yeah, this is good news about the golf course. Thank you. Thank you, Artie. So, yeah. our, Artie, okay. I do have one question. Yeah. Um, well, maybe I need to ask this, next, but about the people that were interested in buying the golf course, were is that like off the table or? We're going to do these holes beforehand. Well, the the guys that wanted it to buy the golf course, that's that's done. That's gone. That's that's by the wayside. That's not that's no longer being considered. Okay. As far as the the we, as you can remember, we have property that's actually under contract on the golf course. Right. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Well, at this time, if there aren't any other issues, we're going to uh, move into executive session. So um, I'd like to, do we need to take, a, I think we need to take a motion to um, move from this part of the meeting into and go into executive session. Am I correct there? 
Is, yeah, that, is that correct? Okay, so um, I'd like to entertain a motion to, to, to end this portion of the meeting. And I told you all I'm still learning and move into executive session. For real estate. For real estate. For real estate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so real estate. for real estate and discussion of property. Okay, so we'll be moving into executive session for a discussion of real estate and property. Would somebody like to move? Can we? I so move. Okay. A second. second. All right. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. The ayes have it. We're going to move on to executive session.